Pedagogy of Physical Science, B8 Syllabus, Second Semester. The question is, differentiate between inductive and deductive approach. One of the most important objective of searching new knowledge in science is to formulate and test hypotheses. Hypotheses are simply tentative explanations which means for time being put forth to account for observed phenomena. Formulating testable hypotheses draws heavily on the scientist's creativity and imagination. One of the general patterns to formulate hypotheses is inductive logic or also called as induction. For example, if a person tastes a green apple, he finds it sour. If he repeats such experiences, he relates the characteristics of green apples to the other characteristics of the apple that is sar. Thus, he draws a generalization saying that all green apples are sar. This is known as inductive method. It has four characteristics. It begins with observations. It leads to hypothesis development. It proceeds from specific to general. It is a method of discovery. Brunner supported inductive learning in which teaching began with the specific experiences of the learner and then built upon them to the general idea of the subject. Students are not passive learners. They learn best if their minds act on what is being learned and this mental action occurs through listening, speaking, reading, seeing and thinking. Brunner encouraged induction as one way to promote learning and as a way to form and understand concepts. Induction consists of some steps beginning with a child exploring the topic in his own way and gathering ideas. In Bruno's system, the meaning is further strengthened by the examples given by the teacher helping in generalization formations, principal development. The generalization comes by making thoughtful comparisons or by finding regularities or irregularities. Brunner recommends for specific activities to help them to understand concepts and relationships. In inductive method or in inductive reasoning, we have the following four steps. Step 1. Students obtain experiences and provide specific examples of concept to be discovered. Step 2. Teacher helps students examine their examples and identify common and uncommon characteristics. Step 3. Teacher guides students thinking and helps them form concept or general ideas. Step 4. Students expand their understanding of concept by using it under different circumstances. Next, we move on to deductive method. Deductive reasoning is the heart and soul of mathematics. Mathematics generally deal with symbols where deductive approach is helpful. Some of the characteristics of deductive logic are as follows. Deductive approach begins with hypothesis which leads to predictions. It proceeds from general to specific. It is a method of verification. David Osubel believes that structured concepts can be taught to students. He regards the human mind as a system for receiving, processing and storing information. Osubel advocates learning new ideas relating them to available concepts or anchoring ideas. His advanced organizers help learners link new ideas with existing concepts. Advanced organizers fit well in a direct instruction method called deductive teaching which is quite opposite to Brunner's inductive teaching. Advanced organizers and deductive teaching Teach from general to specific. In this deductive method, we have four steps. Step 1. An organizer helps to provide a foundation before the teacher presents the abstraction or generality of a lesson. Step 2. 
Teacher clarifies key terms. Step 3. Teacher provides examples. And step 4. Students work with specific examples. Let's summarize the differences between inductive method and deductive method. Inductive method gives new knowledge while the deductive method does not give any new knowledge. Inductive method is a method of discovery while deductive method is a method of verification. Inductive method is a method of teaching while the deductive method is the method of instruction. Child acquires first-hand knowledge and information by actual observation in inductive method. Child gets ready-made information and makes use of it in deductive method. Inductive method is a slow process while the deductive method is a quick process. Inductive method trains the mind and gives self-confidence and initiative while the deductive method encourages dependence on other sources. Inductive method is full of activity while the deductive method is less scope of activity in it. Inductive method is an upward process of thought and leads to principles while deductive method is a downward process of thought and leads to useful results.